right, here we go. It's time. <laughs> For lunch with Dad. How is everybody? Hello, everybody. I see a lot of people already signing in. Great to have you here. We're going to have a bunch of fun today. Let's just see what we got going on. First thing we got to do, we got to say thank you to the partners from Celebration Shirts, CelebrationShirts.com. They got really, really cool stuff over there, including we've got our own little store down there. Uh, our some our shirts that uh, kind of work with the uh, dad's book. We're going to talk a lot about dad's book today, but we've got our, our shirts that are tied to the book. Uh, there's some pretty cool ones in our store at celebrationshirts.com. Uh, Stephanie, I'll put the link to our store down in the comments below. So if you can, go over to our store if you'd like. Grab a shirt, a celebration shirts, any kind of shirt you want for Walt Disney World or for anything, any kind of outing. If you want to design your own shirt, uh, they can do that. They've got a bunch of cool new designs. Uh, go over there and, and check it out, celebrationshirts.com. They've also got a great Facebook page. Uh, but uh, we want to thank them for being sponsors and welcome you to lunch with them. This is going to be so much fun. So what are we going to do today? <clears throat> well, first thing we're going to do today, we're going to give away a book. We're going to give away one of Dad's cool books. We're going to talk about it a lot, like I said a minute ago. Uh, we're going to read from it a little bit. We're going to answer some questions about it. And uh, uh, <clears throat> we're just going to talk about Dad's book a lot because I want you to buy Dad's book. Uh, talk about that again later. But uh, if you want one of Dad's books, I'll sign it and send you a signed copy of Dad's cool book. Really cool book. Simple, fun magic guide, Walt Disney World Planning. Uh, best Disney World planning book ever written. If I do say so myself. A lot of you already have it, I know. But uh, um, <clears throat> if you'd like to win Dad's book, all you have to do is hit the, the like button, the comment, make a comment, or share. And at the end of the call, at the end of lunch with Dad today, we'll pick a winner. I've even got a sticky to tell me today to pick a winner because I've kind of forgotten that a couple of times. So we're going to pick a winner today. I just stuck that right there on my laptop so I can't miss it. Yeah, we're going to pick a winner today uh, right here live. So if you'd like to win the book, like, comment, share, just say, I want the book. I want the book, Dad. It's so cool. It looks so cool. Uh, and uh, I'll sign one and send it out to you really quick. All right. So um, what else are we going to do? Uh, let's just look at the notes here. Uh, oh, we got a plan for this week. Uh, just like we do every week, we've got a plan. We're going to start with the rant. Um, got a little rant this week uh, about some things that Disney's doing. That I'm not too happy about. I get tired of doing those. I, I know Disney listens to me. Maybe this will fix it. The last time I ran it, it fixed it. So maybe this will fix the problem. Then we'll do the news. Uh, we'll do the tip of the week. Tip of the week. Got to put hands up when you say tip of the week. Uh, then you have questions. Uh, questions. Ask Dad questions. We've got some questions from our Ask Dad page. I think we got eight of them this week. Uh, and then we'll answer your questions. I know some of you yesterday on the uh, when the little notice came up that we were going to have this today uh, submitted a couple questions. I've already got those ready to go. And then we'll answer any questions you have about Walt Disney World. Just put it down in the comments. And we'll, I'll do my best to give you the best answer you'll ever find about Walt Disney World. Because that's what I am. I'm such a nice guy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, so we'll answer your questions and then we'll have our final thoughts. All right. Page one is now on the track. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> the rant. You know, a, a lot of you have been talking about things like uh, Rivers of Light scheduling. Rivers of Light dining packages. Uh, there are just a lot of things that lately Disney has kind of fallen down on getting the schedule out. 
It's become really, really important for us to know in advance what is happening when. Disney has made it to where we need to know at six months when Rivers of Light's going to happen, when 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 the, the nighttime events are going to happen, when special events are going to happen, because we have to make our dining reservations. We have to make the outlines at our plans. Disney, listen to this. We are making outlines for our plans at six months, 180 days, just outside of six months. It's pretty frustrating when we can't get even the park hours until like two or three days before that 180 day mark. Uh, you need to work, Disney, this is for you. You need to work on getting that, these things scheduled earlier. Uh, just today, the candlelight processional, uh, announcers or our narrators were all, uh, announced. Here we are, we're, Three weeks, uh, we're, well, we're a month and a half away from the candlelight processional starting. And the, the, uh, the narrators are just now being announced. Rivers of Light, January. It is not scheduled in January. People going in January can't, can't plan on Rivers of Light because you don't have a schedule. What are you doing with it? Are you going to cancel it? Or are you going to keep it? If you're keeping it, Schedule it. If you're going to put it in refurb, tell us you're going to put it in refurb. Uh, let us know what's going on. It's getting a little old, uh, this last minute. You know, you can't get a Rivers of Light dining package at Tusker House because Tusker House is booked up. And your, your, uh, your cast members don't know that if they cancel the reservation at Tusker House, the dining package reservation is going to come right back up because that slot's going to be open. The problem is not there's not enough sp spaces, and not, not any dining packages left. It's the it's the Tusker House reservation. So the bottom line is Disney, get your act together, get the schedules out earlier. It's not like things change. Rivers of Light is seven days a week, same time. Figure out the time in January and get the schedules out or cancel it. Put it in refurb. Whatever you're going to do with it, do it. Figure it out. Okay, enough ranting about that. That's not any fun. We're going to throw page two away now. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's have some fun. Uh, we're through ranting, so that's over. Let's have some fun. Maybe Disney will finally listen. I doubt it, but maybe they'll finally listen. Uh, here we go. The news of the week. So what's the news of the week? All right. Not a, not a busy week. It was kind of a slow news week this week. But here we go. This is the news of the week this week. Uh, construction walls have gone up around Guardians of the Galaxy or what used to be Ellen's Energy Adventure at Epcot. So the construction walls have gone up around that and they're starting to work on the buildings for the new Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster ride in Epcot. That's going to be who, who can't wait for the roller coaster at Guardians of the Galaxy. It just, just the minuscule little hints they're giving sound really, really cool. Um, okay. Another thing that was announced this week, and this one, this one's got dead salivating, literally salivating. It was the pineapple upside down cake dole whip. That's right. A dole whip on top of a pineapple upside down cake. Oh yeah. Mmm. I know it's only like uh 20 days, let's see, 15, today's the 13, it's 18 days until I get to try one of those. I can't wait. Mrs. Mom doesn't want one. She's not much of a pineapple upside down cake fan, but I am. That just sounds, I, <clears throat> stop or I'm going to have to wipe the slobber off. Here we go. All right. Uh, winter Summerland. Uh, closed for refurbishment, uh, just kind of an unannounced, <laughs> something must have broken and they had to go fix it. So it's going to be closed. No dates have been announced, uh, but it's closed for refurbishment. And then, like I mentioned a minute ago, the candlelight processional um, <clears throat> narrators have all been released now. We know who all the narrators are. We just put the information up on our candlelight processional page. If you want to go over and look at it, it's at dadsguide to wdw.com slash candlelight 
dash processional.html. I'm sure Stephanie will stick it down in the comments for you. So the candlelight processional, now we know who all the narrators are. And yeah, maybe I'm not very current on the current pop people, but I didn't know many of them. <laughs> it might say something about me, but I didn't know who these people were. All right, so that's the <clears throat> the news. Oh, yeah, there was one other news item. Uh, I wanted to talk about. It is the new uh, something, new that, something Disney new that Disney is doing just for, just for uh, this uh, year. 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 We'll have it again if it gets to be popular. popular. But, but if you, you are going uh, between now or sometime in 2018, if you've got a trip coming up in 2018, if you book between now and November 15th, there is a special promotion going on. Um, if you book between now and November 18th, you can get, and I've stuck it. I think the picture should be, oh, it didn't show up. Where'd it go? I can draw I. It didn't show up. Oh, I just hate it when this happens. Christmas man should be right there. All right. So <laughs> these little boop. I gotta get my hand just right because I'm looking backwards. These little magic bands right here. Disney has got a special promotion going. Now this promotion doesn't matter. You can put this in if you even if you book today. If you book between now and November fifteenth, and say you're booked for next December or next uh, uh, September, and say in April free dining comes out, you can still get that discount. This is not a discount, so it's not the stacking discounts problem we have with with other promotions that Disney puts out. <clears throat> but if you book now between now and November fifteenth, Disney is going to send you these special magic bands. There, there we go. These special magic bands that you can uh, put on and uh, you'll be able to, to wrap them up. In fact, they come in pretty cool boxes that you'll be able to put them under the Christmas tree to surprise your family with a trip, a Christmas spring. Hey, open it up. <clears throat> magic bands? What a magic band. We're going to Disney World. You know, that's a pretty cool surprise. We did that to the kids one year and that was a really, and they were old. They were 19 and 24. Four at the time, I think something like that. <clears throat> uh, but uh, it was a, uh, it was no sixteen. No, I don't remember. Anyway, that's what happens when you get old. Uh, anyway, you can surprise the family with a trip to Walt Disney World and have this. You'd think after three times I'd figured out have one of these cool magic bands in a box in a cool box, one for everybody, um, to tell them you're going to Disney World. Anyway, book now between now and November 15th. Get our, give our friends at Destinations to Travel, our partners, our good friends at Destinations to Travel a shout. We'll put the link down in the comments below. You just give them a, a shout and tell them when you want to go. They'll book the trip for you. They'll get it all set up for you. They'll take great care of you. They'll help you uh, plan your trip. They'll help you book your um, ADRs. They'll help you make your fast pass reservations. They'll just be your best Disney friend ever. Well, second best after that. Anyway, so <clears throat> go to Destinations to Travel today and start planning your trip to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. All right. All right. What's next? Pages sticking together. Okay. So <clears throat> let's talk about Dad's book. Let's turn that ad off. Uh, there we go. Let's talk about Dad's book. <clears throat> Uh, I said I was going to talk about it a lot. I want to spend just a couple minutes uh, talking about the book and kind of uh, saying, hey, buy the book. It's a good book. When I wrote this, I wanted to write a book that would, would help everyone plan their vacation. And I'm not talking, you know, the, the typical guidebook that's just... Uh, uh, statistics and um, kind of the same, you know, everybody's kind of got the same. It's every, every restaurant, every ride, every park, every hotel. That's not what this book is. It's not, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't have the statistics. It doesn't have anything about, it doesn't have much about any of the rides in the hotels. It is how to plan a trip from making a budget 
to choosing who who you're going to go with, who, what, when, where, why, and how, uh, to <clears throat> going um, through the parks day by day, how to plan. No, I don't tell you what to ride, what to do, what order to do it in. I just tell you how to plan your day. I, just kind of a general, here's what Here's what it takes to plan and let you do it your way. That's what I really uh, am big in is how can you make this your trip? You do it your way. It's not dad's trip. I'm not going to Disney World with you. Uh, I'm not going to be your guide, but I teach you how to plan your trip. Now, I also do it with a little bit of fun, a lot of fun. Um, I've had people say, I was laughing out loud. I, you know, when I was reading the book, we have, we have a little mascot. Let me see if I can find a picture of him. I just saw one. We have a little mascot. We call him Pigment. Pigment is cool. Pigment is, uh, <clears throat> is the little voice in my head that tells me when I'm doing something wrong, when I need to talk about something, when, and sometimes he's just the uh, squirrel that uh, <laughs> that interrupts me and, and gets me off track. Um, but sometimes you need that. It's just fun. We have fun. The book is fun. It's called Dad's Dad's Simple Fun Magic Guide to Walt Disney World Planning. It's available on Amazon Amazon.com. Um, Stephanie will have the link down in the comments where you can just click and go, or if you go over to Amazon, just uh, <clears throat> um, just go to Dad's, you know, look for Dad's Simple Fun Magic Guide to Walt Disney World Planning, or the easier way is to go to SimpleFunMagic.com. That's our website for the book. Where did we get that? SimpleFunMagic.com. Um, and there, you can see a little bit more about what the book's about. There, there's some descriptions there. Um, not, it's not just a book. You don't just get this 200 and whatever page, 230, 249 page book. We also have a website and, uh, with the website, there's a lot of videos. There's a lot of extra content. Uh, there's just a lot there. Uh, you, you know, you can order it today, Amazon.com. Um, please buy the book. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, buy Dad's book. And uh, okay. Speaking of Dad's book, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the tip of the week. This week's. Tip of the week is uh, uh, about, and it's uh, it's part of the book. But the question is, who is going with you to Walt Disney World? And that's a really important question. And now I know a lot of you are going, "Duh, we're taking the family." Well, that's not always uh, who who you want to take. It's important. Sometimes you need to have more than just the family. So let's just look right out of the book, and uh, let me read you a couple of sections. Let's start with this. Uh, this is the bottom line. Every chapter has a bottom line. And uh, this is the bottom line from the chapter about who's going to Walt Disney World. The bottom line is who do you want to experience Walt Disney World with? Who do you want to share a lifetime memories with and about? That's where you start. Typically, it will be an immediate family, but think about branching out from there. This isn't hard. In fact, it's pretty simple. The results can be magic. Um, think about who you want to go to Walt Disney World with to have the most fun. Um, that's what's important. Who do you want to go to Walt Disney World with? I know for our trips, the trip we talk about most is a trip where we went with the whole family. Fifteen of us went. So uh, as we went, uh, let me just read again right out of the book. Um, one of our best trips ever was when we took uh, the whole family, our family, Mrs. Mom's mom and dad, Mrs. Mom's sisters and their kid, about kids, about 15 of us in all. It was an incredible experience. We still talk about it whenever we get together. We made lots of precious memories. Memories like the time when we all ate dinner at Ohana. We'd been there for a while, and a big group sat down at the table next to us. They saw us having a great time and asked the waiter for the same thing we were drinking. Uh, they couldn't believe it when the waiter said, well, just Coke and iced tea. Uh, yeah, we were having fun that night. Uh, on the next night, the baby of the bunch, he was four at the time, <clears throat> uh, 
ran down the hall of the Polynesian Resort buck naked because it was his night to sleep with Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, he was in a big hurry. Now, those kind of memories are etched on our minds. We talk about them all the time. Every time we get together, even when we're not together, we talk about those memories. And that's important. Who do you want to make those memories with uh, when you go to Walt Disney World? <laughs> That's the bottom line. Who do you want to make memories with? Now, have you ever gone with somebody outside of just your close family? Um, if you if you have and and you don't mind sharing, share what uh, what it was like to go with other people, who you've been with, and, and what it was like. Put it down in the comments, and I'd love to read it and 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 think about it and and see what you've experienced. All right, so that's Dad's tip of the week. All right, time for questions. We have a bunch of um, Ask Dad questions, so if you've got any questions, when we get through with these questions from our Ask Dad page, we'll get right into your questions. I know we've got a few already. Well, we've got more than a few. No, we've, only got, we've got some that came in yesterday, but we don't have any new ones. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I've got a different... I'm looking at the wrong screen. Okay, so, questions. <clears throat> if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below, and we'll get to them here in about uh, 20 minutes, and we'll answer all your questions. We'll stick around till they're all answered. Uh, we've got a few that have already uh, been put in from yesterday, but if you've got any, put them down in the, question, in the comments and we'll get to them today. All right, here's the first question. This one comes from Nicole in Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, I'm planning a first and maybe uh, ever, maybe last ever, uh, time trip and have two options for June, June for six or seven days or mid-October for four or five days. I'd much rather go in October. <clears throat> I hate heat and crowds. However, we'd see more in June. Please advise. Well, Nicole, congratulations. You're going to Disney World. That's going to be so cool. Um, first time trip just sounds like a great, great idea. So let's talk about June versus October. Which is better, June, June, or October? Well, let's start with June. Um, well, let's start with crowds. Let's just start with crowds. So crowds in June. It kind of depends on the time of month you're going in June. Early to mid-June, light crowds. Light to moderate crowds. Uh, it starts getting a little busier towards the end of month. October crowds. October crowds, surprisingly enough, are heavy. If, you, if you've if you been watching anything about Walt Disney World the last couple of days, uh, the last week or two, the crowds are really, really big. In fact, uh, we had a, a live stream on WDW Magazine, it was Wednesday. We had a live stream from uh, the Magic Kingdom. And the line for um, Space Mountain, the line for Space Mountain was 150 minutes long. Almost three hours long, two and a half hours long for Space Mountain. And it was very busy. There were people everywhere. <clears throat> It was just a very busy day. That's been true of October for several years. It used to be October was a nice slow time, but uh, probably about five years ago that changed and the crowd levels went boom. And now October is busier. So you talk about it being busier in, in I mean, slower in October. Well, that's not the case. October is busier than June. If you look at our crowd calendars, uh, crowd calendar pages, um, Stephanie, I put the links down below, the June crowds and the October crowds, you'll see that June is not as busy as October. In fact, the crowds in the summertime have been going down the last few years. Uh, and that has, that has helped, that has even made that October crowds worse. October is one, now one of the busiest months of the year at Walt Disney World. Okay, so let's look at weather. Let's look at the difference between June, June, which end was June? I don't remember. June and October in weather. So June, uh, here I got it written out right here. The June highs, uh, the average high in June is 91 degrees. The average low is 72. 
So you look at October, the average high in October is 85 degrees and the average low is 66. Uh, <clears throat> so it's a little cooler in October. Uh, it's not drastically cooler in October. I can tell you, I've been there a couple times in October and it was hot. <laughs> I'm talking 95 degrees. You can get that just about any time. I was there in December last year and it was, it was 90 degrees on December 13th, I think, uh, was the date we were, uh, actually having our party. It was like, it was like 80, mid 80s at 9.30 when we were in, in Epcot. It was hot. Um, so it, it, any time of year you can have that temperature choice. You can get a cool front in June where it can be really, really nice. Yeah, I know this year, was it June? I believe it was in June. They had a lot of rain in June. Uh, so it, it was pretty, it wasn't nearly as bad in June. That's, you know, June, October. It's a little cooler in October, but not that, you're not having a 20 degree temperature difference. It doesn't go from 95 to 75. So it's not going to be all that different. You're talking 91 to 86, 5 to 85, 5, 6 degrees. Not all that different. Um, so you're not going to gain a lot by going in October versus June, uh, weather-wise. Now let's talk about events. <clears throat> in June, used to, you had uh, Star Wars weekends. Uh, depending on when you go, you might still be in the Flower and Garden Festival. It ends sometime around there. We don't know exactly what... We might know the dates, but I don't remember them right offhand for 2018 for the Flower and Garden Festival. We do have the dates for 2018. I know I'm going in 2018, um, but I'm not sure where when it ends. I think it's around mid-June. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to look that up. I should have looked that up, bad dad. Um, but in, you don't really have a lot of events in June, whereas in October, you have the Flower and Garden Festival. You have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Um, let's see. Yeah, that was all I had. Um, so October's got a little better events, uh, with the Halloween party. Um, so events, October wins, but the bottom line, dad's bottom line is I would go in June, six or seven days in June versus four or five days in October. No brainer. Go in June. It's a little warmer, not much, but crowds will be lower. And uh, I think you'll just have a better time in June. All right. So that's it. June versus October. All right. Here we go. Next question. This one comes from Michelle in New Jersey. Hi, Dad. My husband and I are big fans of Mexican food and margaritas. We were told that La Hacienda is a good spot to eat dinner and view illuminations at Epcot. I believe illuminations are at 9 p.m. We will be there in early December. Do you recommend a 7.30 or 8 o'clock reservation? Not sure if there is usually a wait to be seated. I don't want to draw the meal out too long because we have two little ones in tow, uh, but I want to be there in time so we can hopefully get a window seat. Is there an area outside to watch the fireworks in case the kids get too antsy? Well, Michelle, congratulations. You're going to Disney World in December. How cool is that? That's so cool. December at Disney World, my favorite time to be there. Early December is just fabulous. I uh, wish I was going in December this year. We're going to be there in November, but I wish I was going back in December. I like being there in December. Um, now, as to La Hacienda. Well, first, let's talk about uh, illuminations. Uh the holiday version of Illuminations actually happens at 9.30, uh, all during the holidays. That's when they do it during the holidays. I love the holiday Illumination show. Not a big fan of Illuminations, but I do love that ending that they put on in the holidays with all the spectacular fireworks. Maybe my favorite fireworks show uh, at Walt Disney World because of the super spectacular ending that, that last seven minutes with all of the, oh man, just let there be peace on earth and all those fireworks going off. It's, it's just incredible. And that final, 
explosion of fireworks. Um, and for the last couple of years, I've gotten to watch it actually from the water view right there, and there's just nothing better. So uh, I like the idea of going somewhere where you can sit on the water and watch the fireworks. Now, as to timing... <clears throat> With it being at 9.30, um, that might be kind of late for the kids. Uh, they, you know, it's, it's pretty late. I would suggest you, you make your reservations for 8.45 or something around that time if you can get them. That way you're not waiting too long. But, um, I, I, I would be a little nervous about taking young kids, um, to a restaurant that late because it's probably outside of their normal dinner time. So, uh, you know, while it sounds like a great idea, it sounds like a lot of fun, I'm not sure it's the best idea for you. That's that's up to you. But the, the bottom line is the reservation time probably I would choose would be 845 if I could get it. Uh, I wouldn't go much later than that, nine o'clock at the very latest, uh, because you might not get seated, especially uh, during the Christmas season. Now, early December, I think that's what you said, um, <clears throat> crowds aren't as big, so it's not as big of a problem as it would be later in December. So 8.45 to 9, uh, but remember, it's 9.30 when the show starts. All right. Next question. By the way, if you have a question, you can put it down in the comments and we'll get to it. Any question about Walt Disney World? I don't see. Well, I got a couple of new ones. So any question you got, we'll get to them here in a couple of minutes. I got a few questions left and some of these are going to go by real quick. So, uh, <clears throat> like this next one. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. It's not a frog, but I don't want to tell you what it really is. All right. Here we go. Here's this next question. Um, Lori in Virginia Beach, Virginia asks, Hey, Dan, does Uber or Lyft operate on Disney property? We are staying on property, but at a non-Disney timeshare. The timeshare transportation isn't the greatest, so we were hoping to use other means and avoid the parking lots. Um, <clears throat> Lori, yes, absolutely. You, Uber, Lyft, taxis, they all operate all around Walt Disney World. Um, and it's just an easy way to get around since you can't use minivans and you can't use dizzy transportation, yeah, Uber, Lyft, perfect. You got it. That's it. Bottom line is, yes. And they do actually take you right to the parks except the Magic Kingdom. Take you right up to the pretty much the front door except for at the Magic Kingdom where they're going to drop you off at the transportation and ticket center. Uh, Epcot, you're kind of over by the bus stop, but it's still fairly close. So not a problem at all. Okay, <clears throat> another quick one. This one comes from Pam in Hubbard Lake, Michigan. She says, I plan on taking advantage of extra magic hours. If extra magic hours start at 8 a.m., what time should I arrive at the park? Um, Pam, just probably any time before 8. Well, maybe 5 or 10 minutes before. You don't have to get there at 7.30 unless you're talking about Christmas time, um, Christmas day, you know, some really, really busy day. But on a normal day for extra magic hours, it won't take you long to get through security. So uh, 10 minutes at the most before 8 o'clock, 7.45 uh, 8 or so uh, is is okay. It's not like the mornings, uh, the nine o'clock when you have to line up and you want to get there early because the line is so long. It's not like that for extra magic hours. You just get there. It'll take you a couple minutes and you can get right in. Um, you, you might want to look at transportation. Transportation options can be a little difficult for extra magic hours, but, uh, it can take a little while to get there. So if you're going to try to be there at 745, you might want to be at the bus stop at like 645 just because there might not be buses available. Now, if you've got your own transportation, it's not anything to worry about. If you're at a monorail hotel, it's not quite as bad. Uh, but transportation can be a little spotty that early in the morning. Bus service can be kind of spotty that early in the morning. Usually it's pretty good, but it can be just a little tricky. All right. That's that one. Woo Here we go. We got like three or four more. Um, <clears throat> got any questions? Please put them in the comments. All right. Here we go. Next question. 
Don't know who this one was from. Yeah, I got to get a haircut. I'm getting a haircut this afternoon. And this is driving me nuts. It's too long. Uh, here we go. We are going to Disney in January 2018, and we want to make sure to visit Animal Kingdom on a day when Rivers of Light is scheduled. So far, Disney has not published any show times for 2018. Any thoughts on what the schedule might be? Um, I, like we talked about earlier, like the rant earlier, I don't have any idea what's going on with Rivers of Light. I don't know why Disney isn't putting the schedule out. What I will say is current schedule through the end of the year, Rivers of Light is nightly. Now, will that be the schedule in January? Probably, especially if you're going the first couple of weeks. Um, and I would say for the month of January, if they do put the schedule out, my guess is it will be every day. Um, but I, you know, who knows? It's Disney. They're nuts. They're not doing their jobs. Disney, you hear this? Knock, knock, Disney. I'm talking right into my microphone. Probably blew you out, but uh, Disney, you need to fix this. Get your schedules out. Um, this is causing problems, causing heartache. Anyway, so I can't tell you for sure, but my guess is it will be every day in January, just like it is in November and December. And I, I did check this morning, uh, 10, December 13th. I checked this morning and, uh, not December, October 13th today. I checked this morning and there wasn't any January schedule yet. So. The bottom line is, we don't know, but my guess is it will be daily. Okay, here's the next question. This one comes from Troy in Michigan. I don't think that's Troy Bonager, is it? No, it's probably not. That's Shannon's husband, Shannon from Destinations Travel. Her name, her husband's name is Troy, and they live in Michigan, uh, but I don't think this is that Troy. Anyway, let me. All right, here I go. I was hoping for some advice on touring on Sunday, November 26th and Wednesday, the 29th of this year. My family of five with kids 7, 8, and 15 will be visiting the Magic Kingdom both days. I know that the 26th is Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, so we'll be leaving the park by 6 and plan on being there at Road Drop. What is a good touring plan? Fast passes for that day. I don't believe the children will be interested in Space Mountain or uh, Thunder Railroad, so I wouldn't need fast passes for those, but we will be returning on Wednesday for a full day in the park, so I'm just wondering what would be the best plan of attack on Sunday. Thanks for any advice since this is our first trip to Disney. So we're not concerned with rushing through, but would like to have a basic plan. Um, <clears throat> Troy, this is a good question. Um, the fast pass plan for November 26th. Now, let's think about that. November 26th, Sunday, um, is going to be a day with light crowds. Any t in most times when Disney closes at 6 for Mickey's A Very Merry Christmas Party, the crowds at the Magic Kingdom are down. Uh, so that's going to be your best day to tour uh, the Magic Kingdom. It should be a good day to get Fast Passes. Now, which Fast Passes would I make? I would make Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, if you want to ride Peter Pan's Flight, Kids 7, 8, 15, maybe, maybe not. Peter Pan's Flight, that's, those are definite. Um, as to the rest, uh, I, personally for Mrs. Mom and I, we would make, uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, cause that's what we love, and the Jungle Cruise. But, in fact, we've got a, a, a graphic on our fast pass page. If you go to dad's guide to www slash fastpass.html, you'll see a graphic where we talk about the rides that you need fast passes for. The most important rides to get fast passes. We, we kind of lay it out. You gotta have them. You might want them. Uh, you don't need them. Those, those kind of things. There, there's a graphic right there on that page where we talk about that. And so, it kind of depends on what you want to do. Take the, a look at the rides that you just have to ride. Um, if it's one of those busy rides you need a fast pass for, those are the rides to make your fast passes for. Now, as to a touring plan, what I like to do, I think, well, in fact, I think I got it right here in the book. Let's just look at the book and see what I say <clears throat> about my Magic Kingdom uh, Dad, simple fun magic guide to your plan for Magic Kingdom. Uh, this is this works. This just works. This is what we do. This just works. 
we pick a land to start it. We start in Tomorrowland. Uh, we ride the busy rides in that land. Then we move to the next land. Uh, we go, I guess it's counterclockwise, because we'll go next to Fantasyland. You just determine which way you want to go, and you start going that way. Um, it's a little easier in the Magic Kingdom to cross, cross across the parks, but this kind of works at any of the parks. So step two, you determine the direction you want to go and work your way around the park, riding the busy rides in each land. The second time you go through, you get everything else. That's it. Um, there are some other things, you know, get to the parks early, make your fast passes, kind of work your fast passes into that plan. But it's pretty simple. It's not rocket surgery. Uh, just make a quick, easy plan. I don't like this running back and forth across the park. Um, it, it just doesn't seem to be. I know that touring plans will tell you that you can save several hours by doing it that way, but it's just not the way we do it. We make a, we're, that's kind of the way we are. We're kind of plotters, so we kind of make a plotting plan to go around the parks. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, since you've got plenty of time, since you're able to stop and smell the roses, I think that's the best plan for you. Pick a land to start in. You might want to start in fantasy land with younger kids. Um, that's kind of, it depends on their boys or girls. If they're boys, you might want to start in Tomorrowland. If they're girls, you might want to start in fantasy land. Um, so just pick a land and then work your way around. Fast passes, figure out which rides you really, really, really want to ride and make fast passes for those. It's just that simple. The bottom line is, it's whatever you want to do. Pick your favorites, make your fast pass reservations for those rides. Use that guide that we have on our fast pass page, but um, it's what you would want to do. You, you and I are different. You, you know, I don't have kids, so we make different reservations than you would. But pick what you would like to do and use those. Okay. There you go, Troy. Hope that helps. All right, here comes the next one. This one is from Mimi in Toledo, Ohio. Um, she says, any discounts coming for a trip already booked for this November? We've waited all year long and there seems to be nothing. We used another Disney agent before we knew about you. I might add, we're still paying full price, I think. There is no breakdown on tickets, resorts, or meal plans, so I have no idea if we qualify for a discount of any kind. Uh, it sure would be helpful, to say the least. How do I find out? Well, Mimi, since this is a question about reservations, I had our partners at Destinations to Travel uh, give us an answer for it. So Chris Boyer, one of the great agents over at Destinations to Travel, sent me this answer. Chris said, let me get it out so I can read it. <clears throat> Chris said, unfortunately, no new discounts for this uh, November will be released from Disney. All of the promotions we're seeing right now are for 2018. Disney did previously release some discounts for November, which in theory would have, which you in theory would have qualified for if the deals were showing as available for your resort stay. I did get in touch with Mimi and we found out when she was going and what re resort she was staying at and she would have qualified for some of these, uh, some of these discounts. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, a check-in date of November 19th would have qualified you for the free dining promotion that was released in April. However, you really needed to jump on that as soon as it was released and the deal is now over. A winter promotion discount of 10 to 20 percent was available for your travel dates, but this promotion had very limited availability when it was released. Uh, the folks for whom we were able to schedule this promotion generally had it applied to us to their reservation almost immediately after it was released. Sadly, at this point, it looks like you will pay the rack rate for your stay. But hey, you're going to be at Disney World. Um, <clears throat> I think Chris is right. It, it, well, I know Chris is right. There will not be any from all the promotions for November are done. There won't be any new ones, so uh, we're not going to have that available for you. But is was it bad um, a bad travel agent? Um, that I can't answer. Like Chris said, there was very limited availability on these promotions, uh, but Caribbean Beach Resort wasn't one that was really, really all that limited. Uh, <clears throat> there was limited availability. 
and it was just hard to get. It also might be true that if you booked in 2016, that you booked before the big, um, <clears throat> the big price increases came out this year, some people have been finding, especially on those package deals, that <clears throat> the, even with free dining, even with free dining, if they booked in 2016, they, when even applying free dining, when it came out in April, they were going to pay more. Now, it just kind of was a funky deal depending on the size of the group and, and the dining packages. But they were end up paying more because of all the Disney price increases. So it may be that you, uh, that, it, that it, she tried, your travel agent, they tried and they just couldn't. It also could be that they don't know Disney. You didn't have a good Disney travel agent, uh, which I recommend you always have a good Disney travel agent, and that's why I recommend Destinations to Travel. Highly recommend Destinations to Travel. I use Destinations to Travel. I talk to them all the time. Um, they, that's what they do. That is their number one job is to get you the discounts. Um, so the bottom line is, I'm sorry. There's not going to be any new discounts. Um, that's just the way it is. It's it's past the time. Um, even if you transferred your reservation over to Destinations to Travel a Day, they really wouldn't be able to change anything, and that can't be done at this point. So you're going to Disney World. It's going to be a great day. Just the 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 discounts. Nothing we can do do about it at this time. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Next question. I'm down to, I think, two more, maybe three. No, two more questions. Um, so if you've got a question, now is the time to put it down in the comments so we can get to it here. Um, we'll, we'll answer all of them before we quit. So I got two more. Let's just hit it. All right. Hi, Dad. This one's from Allen, Pennsylvania. Al in Pennsylvania, not Allen, Pennsylvania. Al in Pennsylvania. Hi, Dad. I hit the 60 day mark today. Do you know of any subscribers that have a good walking program to build up stamina for the trip? It can involve running due to surgery on my knee. Well, Al, let's just do something here. Take it away, Olivia. I grew up with that song. I just, yeah, I know it's talking. I know what it's talking about, but it's still one of my, I just, Olivia Newton Jones, just, I was in that era and, and she was just one of my favorites. Anyway, so here we go. <clears throat> who would you, who has a, a plan for, um, getting ready for a Disney World vacation? Getting your body ready for a Disney World vacation. Who has a plan like that? <laughs> Just so happens that I do. Um, now, me, exercise guru, again, it, oh, the plan is right here in the book, but uh, me, an exercise guru, let's just uh, see what I say about dad, the exercise guru. Um, <clears throat> that's, you can see, I'll pull the sticky off. Dad, the exercise guru. Uh, funny, it says. Anyway, so Dad, the exercise guru. Yes, I'm just about the last guy in the whole world to give exercise advice. Yeah, look at this body. Um, yeah, poof sized. When it comes to exercise, you'd think that I was allergic to it. I'm one of those guys whose bodies went from being jock-like to poo-like after high school. Yes, I meant to say poo-like. I went from looking like Michael Phelps in my dreams to looking like Winnie the Pooh. Dad is about as much as an exercise guru as Winnie the Pooh. And we've got a link in the book to a video of Winnie the Pooh doing exercises. It's so cute. Um, <clears throat> but there is one thing I do know when it comes to Disney World vacations. It's very important to get your body prepared for the pounding it's going to take. And then I go on and I talk about the exercise plan. I've even got it here. Dad's radical new exercise plan for uh, get your body ready plan for Walt Disney World. And basically the plan boils down to walk, stand, exercise, and eat less. It's pretty simple. You do those things to get your body ready. What I would tell you is you don't need some 
radical day one, day two, day three, day four. This is not like getting ready for a marathon where it's important to have kind of a, a, a plan where you train hard uh, and then you come down. You don't have that up and down that you have to have with the air, marathon training. For getting ready for Disney World, for getting your body ready, uh, walking, you just got to do it. Get started. Start today. 60 days. You got 60 days. This came in today, by the way, so I know it's 60 days. You got 60 days until you're going to Disney World. So start today. Go out today. Walk 10, 15 minutes. Just pick a time. Just walk 10 or 15 minutes. If it's cold, you're in Pennsylvania. If it's cold, go to the mall. Put on, t- take your little watch. Put a timer on your watch. Take a timer. Set a timer on your phone. Walk for 15 minutes. Next week, walk for 16 minutes. Next week, walk for 17. In, in uh, nine weeks, around nine weeks until you go to Disney World, you'll be up to almost 30 minutes a day of walking. Don't wait. Don't keep looking for some uh, special plan. Do it. Just get started. Get out and do it. Now, what do I know about walking with with bad knees? Well, I've got two knees that have been replaced, so I know a little bit about it. It's just a matter of getting out and do it. Go get started today. You're not going, I mean, if you don't start today, and you don't start tomorrow, and you don't start, just go get started. Just walk. Walk 10, 15 minutes, turn around, come back. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. All right. There you go, Al. Hope that helps. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Is this the last one? Yes, this is the last one. This is the last question, so if you've got questions, stick them down in the comments. Uh, we'll have a few minutes left to answer any questions. We'll stay until they're all done. So just uh, stick them in there, and uh, let's let's go on. Here we go. Leanne and Oskosh wish Kosh, Kosh, with, I can't even say it. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, <clears throat> all right, here we go. Leanne says, Hi, Dad. What is the best character dining uh, experience? Been to Chef Mickey's twice and are looking for something new. Thinking of Tusker House of Animal Kingdom. Any thoughts? Um, Leanne, that's, that's just such a hard question to answer because it just depends. What do you want? What characters do you like? What kind of food do you like? Yeah, most of the, most of the character dining experiences are are buffets, but not all of them are. So what, what looks good to you? Do you want to go eat breakfast? Or do you want to go with a meal with Donald and, and Daisy and all the characters around Tusker house? We're going to be there, uh, in about, uh, well, uh, it's about three weeks, less than three weeks. Well, let's see. It's 14, 15, 16 days. Yeah, my, my countdown clock says 14 days until we leave, and Animal Kingdom is on our first day. So we'll get to that in just a minute. <clears throat> but <clears throat> um, So we'll be at Tusker House. We've got that plan. We like Tusker House breakfast and got us the Rivers of Light dining package. Anyway, so... Um, it depends on what you want. Do you like Lilo? Do the kids like Lilo and Stitch? If you want to do Lilo and Stitch, you go over to the Ohana Lilo and Stitch breakfast. Um, if you like, um, let's see, uh, well, we'll say princesses. If you like princesses, you go to Cinderella's Royal Table or to Akershush to the um, Princess Fairy Tale uh, meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chip and Dale, you go over to the Garden Grill. You just kind of go where the characters are that you want to see. Also, you look at the menus. Now, some of the menus, uh, like the, um, the Tusker House in the lunch and dinner, have some things that um, are a little out of the normal range of what Steak and, you know, steak and potatoes like dad, uh, like. But anyhow, am I off? Hello, am I still going? This thing looks like, oh, I'm still live. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> it looked like for a minute that I, we, you know, we've had problems before. Sorry. Uh, it looks like I wasn't live anymore. Anyway, some, something went away. Uh, but we're still live, so I'm gonna keep going. Dad, keep going, keep going. Um, anyway. The bottom line is, 
You've got to check out the character dining experiences. They're all good. There's none of them that are bad. Uh, just check out the ones. You can go over to, there's a, a Disney. Uh, Disney really probably has the best page to look at because it, it kind of shows you who all the characters are and, it, and it's pretty well laid out. Um, we haven't actually done that yet, so we don't have the best page, but Disney probably does. Go over to their character dining page. The link's going to be down there in the comments. Uh, and go over and look at which characters you want to dine with. That's where I would start. All right. Anyway, that's all the questions we have. Um, so if you've got a question, put it down in the comments. Uh, this is kind of last call for questions. We've got like eight of them. So um, if you've got a question, now's the time to put them in um, and we'll get to them. By the way, I'm going to be at Disney World in, like I said, 14 days, 19 hours, 4 minutes, 19 seconds. That's what my countdown says to the time we leave. Um, we're driving, so it's going to take us a couple days to get there. Um, from Oklahoma, where the wind comes swinging down the plane. Um, that's where I live. Anyway, so we're going to Disney World. Mrs. Mom and I are going to be at Disney World. We're going to be there October 30th to November 4th. We're going to be in the parks October 30th to November 4th. And I'd love to say hello to you. If you can be at Walt Disney World between October 30th and November 4th, come up. I'll be in a shirt like this, or I always wear collared shirts. So, you know, I'll have the beard grown in by then. I'll have the purple purple magic band on. Yes, I'm wearing my purple magic band. I'm breaking it in today. Um, you know, these new magic bands are so comfortable. A lot better than the old ones. It fits. It's it's much more comfortable than the old ones. So we'll be there from uh, October 30th in the parks, October 30th through November 4th. Uh, Monday, we're going to be in <clears throat> um, Animal Kingdom. Tuesday, we'll be in the Magic Kingdom. Wednesday, I'm sorry, Monday we're going to be in Epcot. We're starting in Epcot. We'll, we'll be there a little later. We're not going to do that first thing in the morning. We'll probably be in, uh, in World Showcase most of Monday. Um, Tuesday we're going to be in the Magic Kingdom. I keep saying that wrong. Look at your notes, Mr. Dad. Dummy. Okay, so Monday, Epcot. Tuesday, Animal Kingdom. Uh, Wednesday, Magic Kingdom. Uh, Thursday, Epcot. Friday, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Saturday, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, us and about a hundred little, hundred million little Kini boppers because they announced that they're shooting the Christmas Day Parade on the fourth, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, or third, fourth, and fifth. Anyway, the days we're going to be there, the day we're going to be in Magic Kingdom, they're going to be shooting the Christmas Parade videos. Oh well, we'll get to see that. We'll get to experience that. Uh, anyway, so. That's our plan. Uh, come up and meet us. I'm probably going to have a few of these to give away. I'll probably have a few of, uh, I'm about to drop things, pens and pins to give away. I'll even have a $25 gift certificate for the first person to say, hello, dad, and come up and meet me every day. I've got uh, gift certificates. I'll have them in my backpack, and I'll be happy to give you a gift certificate. Love to meet you. Love to say hello. Shake your hand. Say thank you for following uh, Dad. Um, I just, it, it would be an honor to, to meet you. Dad's going to Disney World. I'm so excited. All right. All right. So questions. Here we go. Your questions. Um, first couple. Hello. Go away. Go away. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I just hung up on you. Um, hang on just a minute. I gotta do, I gotta fix something. I just messed up. Okay. So I got that fixed. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Where did we go? Here are your questions. All right. Here we go. Try this again. Uh, let's see. They start right there. Is it true? Is Tomorrowland Speedway closing in 2018 and being reskinned as Sugar Rush from Wreck It Ralph? Uh, and this was from Tom. <clears throat> Tom, we hear Wreck It Ralph, uh, rumors all the time. The Wreck It Ralph was going to go in where Stitch is going. It may still, but it hasn't yet. Um, I haven't heard that rumor. Um, that's again, one of those rumors. 
rumors don't believe them until Disney makes announcements and then don't believe them until Disney actually starts construction and then don't believe them until it actually opens. Um, Pop Century. <clears throat> anyway, so um, I hadn't heard that one. Don't know anything about that one. All right, next question. Susanna says, is it worth paying the extra money for preferred room locations at the Caribbean re Resort during construction? Uh, Susan, um, I, I don't think so. Um, I just don't think it's worth it at this time, just because there is no main building now. I mean, yes, if you're planning to eat breakfast over there in that uh, little temporary building they've built, then you might want the preferred rooms. But um, there, there's no, you know, there's no big view that you get. Um, do you get better access to transportation? Not really, because it goes all the way around the circle. So um, I just don't see any real advantage to booking the preferred rooms at this time uh, while the construction's going on, and it's going to go on for a while. Until they get that main building back up, uh, I, I don't really see a lot. Now, if you're eating over in the little hut thing that they built, uh, then it might be. All right. Here we go. Next question. Helen says, uh, my question is a follow-up from, uh, from, from your answer about transportation. On day one, we will be at Animal Kingdom leaving for a 4 p.m. hoopty doo show, then home to the All-Star movies. What is the best mode of transportation from Animal Kingdom to Fort Wilderness Resort and back to the All-Stars? Thanks. Helen, <coughs> um, free transportation is going to be the bus from Animal Kingdom to the Magic Kingdom and then the boat over to Fort Wilderness Resort. Now, that may take a while. I know one time we waited for an hour for a boat to go to Fort Wilderness when we were going to the Hoopty Doo, and we were late to the Hoopty Doo. So the free transportation, uh, and then to go back to your resort after the show. After the show, typically um, they have buses going to all the resorts at the Fort Wilderness Resort, the campgrounds. At the campgrounds, you can pick up a bus to the All-Stars after the show. Um, but if you can't, uh, and you can ask, they'll know, the people people around there, the cast members there will know if you can get bus buses there. If you can't, you got to do the same thing. Boat back over to the Magic Kingdom, then bus to uh, back to the All-Stars. Um, so that's the free, the free way. Uh, the other way would be minivans. Minivans are gonna, you know, 20 bucks for your group. Uh, or Uber, Lyft, it might not be quite 20 bucks. Uber, Lyft, that's kind of a long trip. So it might be $20. You just have to check the prices on Uber and Lyft. Um, but those are the options. The free transportation, bus to the Magic Kingdom, boat over to, um, <clears throat> to Fort Wilderness, boat back to Fort Wilderness, bus to the all-stars. All right. Next, uh, let's see. Okay, here's one, some from today. Uh, Brian says, hey, Dad, when you research Walt Disney World, what websites, resources do you use? We all use your new book and blog, but where does the master get his information? <laughs> okay, Brian. Um, it's, it's a good question. Um, I use many sources. <laughs> Believe it or not, Facebook, I, I, I follow, you know, people I followed on Facebook. My Facebook feed is my main source of information. Um, what pops up there on my Facebook feed, because I do so much Disney stuff, I usually see a lot of Disney stuff on my Facebook feed. Um, Disney and more, uh, WDWNT, um, touring plans, um, just all kinds of websites. Disney Dining, um, just Disney's website. Usually, I kind of know. I I know about what's going on, so I don't do a lot of deep research about Disney because I know pretty much every uh, well, not everything, but I know a lot about it. I'll Google stuff when I need more information about a certain item, but I typically know what's going on, so. 
Uh, what I'm looking for is news mainly. What's the news? What's going on? Uh, Shannon from Destinations to Travel. Um, I tell you, I talk to her all the time. Uh, I do. And she's always sending me information from Disney about what's coming out. And she does all kinds of research. So she's, she's always sending me information about stuff that's going on. So, um, those are kind of my sources. Um, you know, it's one of those I say, I know Disney. I do because I've looked at it and, and researched it. So it's the news that I'm always looking for. I hope that helps, Brian. Uh, yeah, the master. What does the master get us? Yeah, right. Okay, here we go. Last, uh, we've got three more questions, and we're going to cut it off because it's already time to quit. All right, Sandy asks, hi, Dad, Handed to, headed to WDW November 4th. Any last-minute refurb crowd activities I should know about? Watched lunch with Dad for the last year now, every Friday. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, I keep track of several websites as well. You always have the best information early. Why? That's just great. Sandy, thanks. Um, as to last minute refurbs, the only thing I know of is that um, that we put out today uh, that I that I talked about uh, winter Summerland, uh, but there's nothing really that hasn't been publicized that I've heard about. Could I miss something? Sure. Um, like I said, I I don't do a lot of research. I'm pretty busy most of the time, but I try to keep up. Uh, but I haven't really heard of anything closing, anything major closing. I'm hoping that uh, the Hall of Presidents opens here and supposed to be open sometime this year. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that it opens in the next couple of weeks by the time we're there. Um, so I, I can't say that I know of anything that's closed other than what's already been announced. As to crowd levels, uh, my guess is the crowd levels will be just a titch up than from what they were, but not enough to worry about. Anyway, I hope that helps, Sandy. I think we're in good shape. I'm going to be there at the same time as you. I hope to see you on November the 4th, maybe. Uh, okay, here we go. Gary asks, is there a vacation planner that can book cheaper than booking through Disney directly for hotel and tickets only? Gary, um, supposedly you're not supposed to be able to buy, to rent hotel rooms uh, Disney hotels for cheaper than Disney charges. That's one of their rules. Um, <clears throat> but I know that sometimes you can do it through things like Expedia, and sometimes they have a little cheaper rates, but there are some real problems with booking through Expedia uh, when it comes to cancellations and being able to book the dining plan and, and all that kind of stuff. So I, I kind of... To stay away from those. I will say that using destinations to travel, they will help you find the best rate for your trip. Um, now, they they do go by Disney rates, so you're not going to go cheaper. But sometimes they know little tricks that uh, if you do this, you'll save a little money. If you do that, you'll save a little money. I will say that our partners at the official ticket center are licensed by Disney. They are approved by Disney. They have a Disney ticket computer in their office. Um, they are they 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 work directly through Disney. Uh, they're authorized by Disney. The official ticket center can get you tickets at a reduced rate. Um, they sell uh, discounted tickets. Uh, and it's approved by Disney. So it's not one of those, I got a note this week, saw a note this week about somebody who got ripped off. In fact, it was on one of our, uh, don't, it was on our don't buy Disney tickets from Craigslist page. It was a comment for that page that somebody that bought tickets from somebody that were previously, you know, went to the gate and got, they went and they didn't work. Um, so they had to buy other tickets. It don't do that, but use licensed and approved Disney authorized resellers and our partners at official ticket center. They are that they can help you get tickets. You can find links on our page. I'm sure Stephanie got the links down in the comments. Um, but as to hotels, um, you are supposed to pay the Disney price, um, but there are discounts that come out all the time. Get with our partners at destinations to travel and uh, let them help you. 
All right, here we go. Last question. Pamela asks, you may have already covered this, but I am late getting here. So I'll ask anyway. We have reservations for two weeks after Thanksgiving. I've seen posts about special bands. If you book new reservations for next year, I was planning on looking out for any bounce back offers while we were there. Uh, but would it be better to go ahead and check out the Magic Band offer if it's still available? Um, Pamela, yes, do the Magic Band offer. Get a hold of Destinations to Travel today and do the Magic Band offer because it has nothing to do with discounts. So do your Magic Band offer now. Uh, don't wait until you go in November. It'll be too late. That only goes through November 15th. So make your reservations now. And it, you don't have to make them, but make a reservation for sometime in 2018. And that way you can have your 2018. Yeah, this is 17. 2018. That way you can have your gift. Now, when you get your bounce back offer, if you get a bounce back offer, then you get with Destinations Travels have got this bounce back offer. Let's go now. And they can change it and you'll still get those magic bands, those special, that special gift. So yes, go ahead and book your trip now and <clears throat> Um, then <clears throat> when time comes, when you get a discount, even we're talking about free dining, whatever comes out next year, you can still apply that even though you've done this offer. So yeah, go ahead and make your, uh, make your reservation today. All right. So <clears throat> that's it. Whew. We are way late. We've 10 minutes over. Anyway, so we do have a book to give away. We've got to give away a book. I've got my note right here so I don't forget, and I didn't. So we're going to figure out who the winner is. And the randomly chosen winner is Shirley DeWitty. Uh, I hope I said that last name right. I think I did. hope I said that last name right, or Shirley DeWitt. Um, <clears throat> Shirley, send me a message. Um, send me a message, whatever. Uh, wherever that message thing is, send me a message and I'll get you the book. I'll send it to you. It'll be signed. It'll go out just as soon as you send me, uh, the day you send me the message, except the weekends, whatever work, Monday through Friday. But it'll go out in the next few days. As soon as you send me your name, address, email address, we'll get you the book. Anyway, thanks everybody for being here today. Thanks to our sponsors from Celebration Shirts. Um, and, uh, I hope you have a great week and I hope you think about Disney and get dad's book. Don't forget, buy dad's book, go to amazon.com today and buy dad's book. Um, uh, anyway, hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you next Friday. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching dad's video. For more simple, fun, magic Walt Disney World information, go to dad's guide to wdw.com. You can do that by clicking the i button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.